Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you are creating your publications, you will often need to add pages to hold more content, especially if you are creating a new blank publication from scratch. Before you insert a page, you'll most likely want to select the page in the navigation pane that is immediately before the position at which you want to insert a new page. While it is possible to insert pages before a selected page, they are most commonly inserted after a selected page. Next, click the Insert tab within the ribbon. To insert a new blank page immediately following the page that is currently selected in your publication, click the Page button within the Pages button group. The new page will automatically appear selected within the navigation pane and in the Page Design area, so you can immediately begin creating content for the new page. In addition to inserting a new blank page into your publication, you can also insert a duplicate of an existing page. To do this, select the page that you wish to duplicate within the navigation pane. Then click the drop-down arrow button below the Page button within the Pages button group on the Insert tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu of choices shown, simply select the Insert Duplicate Page command. For a single page layout publication, this will automatically insert a duplicate of the currently selected page into your publication. For a two-page spread layout, the Duplicate Page dialog box will appear, where you will need to choose the Option button that corresponds to the page content you want to duplicate, and then click the OK button. Your choices are Insert Duplicates of Both Pages, Insert Duplicate of Left Page, or Insert Duplicate of Right Page. Any duplicate pages that you insert will also appear immediately following the selected page within the navigation pane and also appear on screen for editing. Note that if you wish to move the duplicate page to a new location within your publication, click and drag the page shown within the navigation pane to the desired location and then release it. As you click and drag, you will see a dark, thin line appear between the existing pages, so you will be able to accurately tell where the page will insert itself once you release the mouse button. When you click the drop-down arrow below the Page button within the Pages button group on the Insert tab in the ribbon, you will see three command choices. The first is Insert Blank Page and functions the same way as directly clicking the Page button does. The second is Insert Duplicate Page and will insert a duplicate of the selected page as was just shown. The third choice is Insert Page. You can select the Insert Page command to open the Insert Page dialog box. This dialog box allows you to insert multiple pages, either before or after the currently selected page, and also allows you to choose what content will be placed onto those pages. At the top of the Insert Page dialog box, enter the number of new pages you wish to insert into the labeled text box. Next, select whether the new pages are to be inserted before or after the currently selected page by choosing the desired option button. In the Options section, you can determine the page content by selecting the desired option button. You can choose to insert blank pages, create one text box on each page, or duplicate all objects on page. Note that if you choose the third option, you will need to enter the page whose content you wish to duplicate into the text box that follows the Duplicate All Objects on Page Option button. Once you've made your selections, click the OK button to insert the selected pages. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.